what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well and I hope you're staying safe and washing your hands and all that sensible stuff. Now, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a fun one, something I've never done before and I've actually been wanting to do for a while. It's a rumour rater. Seven players that Chelsea have been linked with, either heavily or not so heavily. I'm going to go through today, give you an example of the news story on the screen, and give you my rating on whether I think this would happen, slash is it a good transfer, kind of consolidate all my thoughts into it, into one rating. And like I said, there's seven players to talk about, so it's going to be a real interesting ride indeed. Before I crack open the can of these exciting transfer stories, I want to remind you guys that I'm sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is your one-stop platform slash website slash application to get everything you need regarding football, whether that's Chelsea Football Club, England, anything in world football. Of course, football stopped at the moment, but when it starts again, well, to be honest, even now it's constantly updating. Usually it gives you all the stuff like scores, fixtures, news, stats, media, all that kind of good gear. So do go check out One Football. Click on the link in the top of the description to go have a browse. I use it every day. You should too. All right. Let's get into it. All right, then let's start with a big banger. Philippe Coutinho, ex-Premier League player, went to Barcelona. All starry-eyed to play with Lionel Messi. And then, uh, you know, Barcelona wasn't great. He didn't get into the team or rarely got into the team. Liverpool won the Champions League. <laughs> you know, maybe he regrets his decision. Who knows? He went on a two-year loan to Bayern Munich, which finishes in this summer. It's been okay over in Bayern Munich, he's been very creative, but Bayern are not going to exercise the purchase option to buy the player on a permanent deal. Coutinho's value would have plummeted in this time since he's been purchased by Liverpool. And he's been linked to Chelsea for actually, quite interestingly, a loan deal. Now, Bayern Munich paid, I think it was something like 15 million euros for a two-year loan, and Chelsea are apparently prepared to do that. That makes sense for them. And maybe two years playing under Frank Lampard would give enough like bright youngster talent, whether it's hudson Odoi or Pulisic, all these you know attacking mids, wide keys, to develop more and be the full-time starters under Frank Lampard. But in the meantime, you've got a two-year loan spell of Philippe Coutinho doing bits, getting Chelsea back up the table, which in theory, in principle, sounds pretty good. Another thing is Neymar is suspected to go back to Barcelona, make a sensational return. So obviously that would mean they would absolutely want to get Coutinho's wages off the book and probably try and loan him out again. Um, right, so in theory everything I've just said kind of works, it kind of makes sense. Do I think it will happen? Probably not. I mean, a rival Premier League club, I know it's not like him going to Manchester United or anything. Maybe he looks at Chelsea and thinks, yeah, I fancy a bit of that attacking football, I'm an attacking player. But still, while this is fresh, while it just seems like an incredibly sensational deal, I am going to rate this a big fat four out of 10. I mean, you probably got it was out of 10. I'm giving it a four. Next up, Porto's Alex Tellez. Tellez is, for my money, pretty much the most nailed on transfer out of this lot. Chelsea, of course, are looking at left backs. They want a more sort of well-rounded, full dynamic left back to match the likes of Reese James on the right flank to have on the left flank. Ben Chilwell was the initial target. Alex Tellez has been a long-term target of Chelsea Football Club in the sense of they've spoken to Porto, they've been looking at him for a long time and they've recognised his positive performances for a long time indeed. He's obviously not signed a new contract with Porto. Chelsea have been reported to start negotiations with Porto provided they get one or two left backs themselves out the door Chelsea Football Club. I, of course, think this has massive legs and I genuinely, I'm gonna give, I don't know how high really is a fair rating. I'm gonna give this a seven. Alex Porto, Alex Porto? <laughs> Alex Tellers to Chelsea, seven. <sighs> Next up, Jaden Sancho. Now, come last winter, this was like all everyone's talking about. Sancho to Chelsea, Sancho to Chelsea. He's coming out, he's saying he loves Lampard, he's from London, he's super besties with Cho, he's mates with Tammy Abraham. I'm doing like a Millie Rocket while I'm uh, talking. Uh, anyway, it seemed nailed on. It seemed like he fit the Lampard revolution perfectly. Everyone knew that Chelsea had the Eden Hazard money to spend, or certainly the 
The void of Eden Hazard was in the team, and for many reasons, it seemed like the perfect transfer, and in many ways, inevitable in terms of what a lot of the publications were saying. A lot has changed since then. Chelsea uh, bought, and they've, they've done the transfer, or agreed the transfer for Hakim Ziyech of Ajax, who's obviously a very, very talented wide attacker. Um, it was his birthday yesterday or today, so happy birthday Ziyech. And yeah, they've got a lot, they've got Pulisic, hudson Doy. they might be looking to bring another winger in that doesn't cost 120, 140 million pounds that Sancho would cost. Man United are very, very, very keen to replace that, you know, massive void of a right wing spot they've got in their starting 11. And it does look more likely he's going to go to Manchester United, sadly and unfortunately. Although, what perhaps in January I would have given this a 7, I'm going to give Jadon Sancho to Chelsea a 5. And I'm only giving it that generous a 5, because maybe if a deal doesn't, break, doesn't happen with Man United and breaks down, Chelsea would be a superb alternative. So five for Jadon Sancho. Next up, Timo Werner. Chelsea wanted a striker. They were coming out saying, yeah, we want goals. They pretty much, Frank Lampard himself kind of insinuated they wanted a striker. Everyone knows Chelsea want a striker. Whether that's someone to start or challenge Tammy Abraham, they need a striker. Giroud's old, possibly just gonna leave and not get a few months extension. Batshuayi might be on the way out. Yeah, 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 they want a striker. Timo Werner was heavily linked until he started fl like fluttering his eyelashes at Liverpool. Liverpool talking about him. He's talking about Liverpool. He's pretty much nailed on going to Liverpool, even though, in my opinion, from you know my kind of layman's fan perspective, he doesn't really suit them unless he's a wide attacker. But he doesn't really suit their striker in terms of their system. Like he's no Firmino whatsoever. But I think he's going to Liverpool. Timo Werner to Chelsea gets a big fat one. And only a one because I really want to do a zero. So one. Next up, Lyon's Moussa Dembele, the French centre forward that would almost certainly cost double as much as he should come the summer. He's having a probably <laughs> football stopped. He was having a good season in Lyon, playing in Ligue 1, scoring a decent amount of goals. A lot of clubs do want him. And Frank Lampard himself pretty much said yes he is a player I'm thinking of he's in my head granted he also caveat that with but not that much so I don't know why you're all talking about him but just the fact how Lampard said yep yeah, you know he's someone I'm thinking of Lampard doesn't give anything away whatsoever so for him to say that about any player is almost like pretty gargantuan I think Chelsea are very very interested in Moussa Dembele and I've been looking at him for a while and provided it, <laughs> it isn't 80 million pounds which has been touted to be as a transfer fee I think Chelsea very like this could be another one that could really happen really happen that could very well happen provided the transfer fee isn't mental I'm gonna give Moussa Dembele to Chelsea a seven I wonder if I'll go higher than seven next up Jérémy Boga right Ex-Chelsea, young winger, French guy, very talented. We all know about Boga. Chelsea have a buyback clause for 15 million euros, it's been reported to be, which for the talent, for the age, for the performances, is a very ama well, it's an amazing deal. So Swallow, where he's playing at the moment, only played 3 million euros for him, and obviously there's the buyback for 15. Now, when a player's playing this well, it's kind of like it's a no-brainer to bring him back. Although Chelsea are in an interesting time now. Obviously they've bought Hakim Ziyech. They've given up on Sancho. Maybe Ziyech and Boga would be perfect. Really good value between the both of them. Chelsea can look to get a striker or a left back or whatever. Do you see what I mean? And I think it would be a good idea. Although if Chelsea genuinely want to bring another winger in of even higher quality than Boga, which is, let's be honest, he's good, but he's not the best just yet even if he's got room for improvement it's been reported that Chelsea actually want uh, 11 million pounds or something from Sesuolo to to wipe away the buyback clause essentially like keep the player he's really good <laughs> it's a bit out of order because he's sold to them now but I think they're threatening Sesuolo this is such a horrible financial business story to be like look we're going to buy him back we're going to force the buyback clause and just sell him elsewhere for like 20 million or whatever like 25 30 million euros or you can just give us 11 million euros now and we'll, you'll never see us again. Now, I don't know if this is true. I've just read this off one website. 
But to be honest, I'm going to cheat a little bit on this rating. I'm going to say that Chelsea do some form of business with Sassuolo for Boga, whether that's actually bringing him to the club, bringing him to the club to sell, or getting a compensation because of a transfer. I'm going to give that a nine, but then him coming to the actual club would be lower. But still, I just wanted to rate a high number, so nine for Boga. And the final transfer rumor for today's video is Ben Chilwell. Chelsea's primary left back target for a long time since Frank Lampard probably touched down at Chelsea. Ben Chilwell was widely regarded at the beginning of the season as probably top three left backs in the league, Andy Robertson, Luca Dean, Ben Chilwell, that kind of vibes, you know what I mean? Very young, exciting, can score a goal, can basically get up and down the flank well. And around winter, he got into some really stinky form and basically put in some poor performances. That married with, a, a, you know, Leicester probably asking for like 70 million, 80 million plus. If they're asking for 85 million for Harry Maguire, fullbacks are really like valuable players as well, you know. They're going to just ask for silly money for him. And if Chelsea can get Alex Tellers, which does look like it's got legs, I don't think they're going to go for Chilwell. So I'm going to give Chilwell a free, even though he's been heavily linked. That's the rating. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on all the players I've discussed in this video today. Let me know your ratings. That'll be fun. And who else you think Chelsea should be going for? And if you've enjoyed the content today, I'd appreciate it if you like the video. That means a lot. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new and come and follow me on social media, on Instagram, etc. at Football Yannick. You lot enjoy the football that's not happening at the moment and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.